<clears throat> this is going to be a video about um, the USMLE Step 1, and I think it's super important because doing well in this exam can somewhat dictate um, the match process for you for residency. So you take this exam at the end of your first two years of medical school, and so like, let me just explain just what I did. First of all, when taking advice, I would recommend not taking advice from someone who doesn't s share a score with you. Because that's like having Kaplan or DIT give you a product but not give you any evidence or any proof that their product was actually helping people improve their scores. Also, when somebody tells you what they did, um, they may not have gotten the score in the range that you want to be. Everybody's going to want to get in the range of a different score. Not everybody's trying to get over a 260 or anything like that. Anyways, let me just start off by who I am in studying. I'm not saying I'm a lazy person, but I'm definitely not the kind of person who has like six or seven books and will study those. I know there are some students who scored way higher than me who did that and studied a ton of information. I'm not one of those people. So I got my score with a 254 by using less resources, but studying those like crazy. Again, that's not laziness per se. I was just trying to be efficient with my resources. So I'm not using a lot of resources and I suggest that for you. If you want to go try to find some other video or someone else who used a lot of different resources and got maybe over 260 on step one, that's totally up to you. But I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to pass and do well with my techniques, but I definitely think you're going to do well by trying to use less resources and just really hitting those instead of using a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to go step by step by for what I used for different things. So for the QBank, I used UWorld and I did it a total of three times. And I know that's kind of insane, but there's two ways, I guess, that people use UWorld. Some people use UWorld just to test themselves maybe like a month or two out before their exam. Other people use UWorld and uh, use it as a learning tool. And so I was one of the people who used it as a learning tool and I started it actually pretty early. I would say during my second year, I started it in January and maybe finished my first time in end of February or around that time. I got most of my medical information from the UWorld explanations and studied the question stem big time because that's how the question is gonna be presented to you. So really pay attention to the question stems and use that as part of your notes. Uh, for example, the question stem says distant heart sounds. That's telling you something about the physical exam. And so distant heart sounds could mean one of two things. One, that's one of the really important findings for cardiac tamponade, and that's probably going to be more, more likely. But two, it could also be a finding in COPD. But anyways, given that question stem finding needs to translate to something in your head, they're basically trying to give you the answer. They're trying to give you the diagnosis through the physical exam, through the information that they're giving you in the question stem. So study the question stem and know exactly what they're trying to tell you with certain physical exam findings. For other question banks, uh, USMLE RX, uh, I've heard was really good. I think I did that um, before January of my second year, and I used that to kind of help me go through first aid, to help me read through first aid. And I also used those question stems because there's some pretty good physical exam findings in there uh, and translating it to what it actually means, and also really good explanations for helping you learn the diseases and helpful mnemonics. Um, I wouldn't put that as a priority. Do URX to go through first aid, but if you had to choose between doing UWorld and URX, and let's say you didn't have much time, start UWorld and try to get through it before your exam. Another question bank is Kaplan. I didn't do Kaplan. Yeah, so I have no input on whether or not to do it. I would say they really go into a lot of zebras and a lot of detail for certain diseases, which I didn't find was helpful for me when I was going through UWorld or on my actual exam. But um, again, I'm not suggesting or, or going against Kaplan whether or not you do it. Um, I know some schools pay for it for you guys to do the Kaplan question banks in their lectures. I'm sure their lectures are great, but um, I don't have much input on that, so I apologize. For pathology, do pathoma and use those videos and drill them. And then some people will do pathoma and put their notes in there and all the drawings. I did that at first, but then halfway through, I started to just go to my first aid and I would add pieces of paper and tape them in so I had more space to write out stuff in my first aid. That was sort of where I consolidated all of my information, and I did it really early. So I was consolidating my information in my first aid from day one when I started board studying in January. Um, and I, I think I would suggest that. The more that you can consolidate your information into one place, the better off you're going to be. Because you're not hopping around through all of your different resources. So again, I did Pathoma. Um, I would say I did a total of Pathoma six times just going through it. And then if there are certain topics that I really needed help on, uh, I maybe did those videos like 10 times, so um, really don't be afraid to really use 
Pathoma and buy it. I mean, it's really worth the money. For microbiology, I must say that Sketchy Micro, which is now also Sketchy Medical because he's added farm, he's also added uh, pathology. I didn't do the path part, but I did Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm, and I would highly suggest getting Sketchy Micro because um, I feel like the majority of people learn visually and learn that visual, that spatiotemporal learning. I don't know what it is, but it's like a photograph and you just memorize it and it's so easy. Like, it's crazy. So I would definitely suggest that, or at least try it and see if it works for you. 90% of the time, I'm pretty sure it will work for you, so highly suggest that. For pharmacology, I did Sketchy Farm and I also did flashcards. I made my own flashcards, just going to talk about a little bit later. Physiology, I learned it all from you world in questions and then also flashcards. Um, for physio, I would really say the explanations in New World are awesome. For physio, if you need another additional resource, you could try uh, BRS Physio. Um, but honestly, the more resources you add, um, the harder it's going to be for you to get through all that information. So I would honestly say 98% of the physio that I needed to know for the exam came from New World, RX, and First Aid, and of course Golion. So really, if you get through those resources and hit them really well and do them thoroughly, you're going to do fine on the exam, as long as you understand it. Remember, like I said before, you want to consolidate your information, but also you want to use fewer resources so you get through that information. And you're going to hit most of the information that you have to know for the exam. And I just mentioned Golion, so that was another resource that I used, that's the next part. And it's very helpful for random, for learning, sorry, random physio, biochem, and um, I would like listen to him on long drives and stuff like that, maybe sometimes at the gym. I know that sounds super nerdy, but um, this is like one of the most important exams of your life when you're going through this the medical school route so I think I listened through all of it twice but he's got a lot of helpful stuff on there so also try to find so again find his lectures they're just audio and then try to find his remembered questions and maybe like try to read through those and maybe write in some notes into your first aid now I'm gonna talk about um, how I studied a lot of people will write out their schedule every day and for me I was like you know what this is gonna take me a long time so I kind of just didn't have a written schedule um, but every single day I would do questions every day I did questions no doubt about it. I did at least 50 to 100 questions every single day. There were days I did up to 300 questions. There were some days I was like, you know what, I gotta consolidate my information and just review first aid or pathoma those certain days. I didn't do as many questions, but I still did at least 20 questions every day. So, questions. I did my flashcards, which I would write out, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, how I did my flashcards. Um, created ways to remember things like drawings or mnemonics or talk to my friends if they had some cool mnemonics for things. And then I reviewed first aid slash pathoma. Always review your first aid at the end of the day, at least a number of pages from your first aid. So that was pretty much my schedule every day. And then I added on top of that classwork and stuff like that. So with your first aid, try to write down the explanations or print off pictures or write pictures to help you memorize them. Write it right into your first aid. That's where I consolidated all of my info, like the information that you're getting from UWorld or a board review book or something like that or Pathoma and really review and skim your first date often. So my day-to-day -day schedule again I didn't really make like write down a schedule or anything for studying um, but I would kind of have like a rough idea of what I wanted to do like I would have I would say okay like I have to review the cardio chapter on Monday I would have to review the neuro chapter on Tuesday and stuff like that and split it off into the week and then um, that was like really my rough schedule but then again, every day I did questions, my flashcards, and then I reviewed first aid or pathoma. And then I would save some time to hit topics that I didn't know as well. So, in terms of the timing for doing questions, for the UWorld thing, I did tutor mode, and um, I would try to do the question within a minute, but then for the explanation and reading through it, I took maybe at least five minutes per and really drilled that question. And some questions are gonna be super easy and you can just get through it and skip the question. Some questions are gonna really take some time, so don't be afraid to take time. That's why you start early. That's why you start starting for the exam really early so you really learn the information. There's no question in your mind on test day. Also, if you get a question right, don't be afraid to just move on. Okay, so this is how I do flashcards. I know some people wanna do Unki. Go ahead and do Unki if you know how to set it up, but I was trying to set it up and it was super confusing, so if you figure it out, awesome, do Unki, cause that's cool, cause you can do your questions that you don't know know as well or the flashcards you don't know as well more often and they would hit you they would pop up on your application more often and then um, you would go through that question more and then things that you know pretty well they pushed back the issue with Anki is that um, I mean if you make your own flashcards that's awesome but if you use somebody else's deck you don't know what you're gonna expect I guess that's good but I guess what I'm trying to say is the content of your flashcard base or data should be things that you want it to be 
And so I created my own flashcards based on exactly the things that I got wrong, based on the topics that I need to review, based on the mnemonics that I wanted to review. And so if there's something I got wrong, I would write it out, put where I would get the answer from on the back. Like usually it was like a page number from first aid. And so I wouldn't actually put the answer on the back, but then I started switching that and then I started putting the answer in a drawing or a mnemonic on the back just to save me time. And so I had that flashcard and I added it to my deck. Now every day I would go through my flashcard deck not the entire thing, but at least as much as I could do. And the things that I got consistently wrong, I would put to the side, and then I would add it to the top of my deck. And then the next day, or even later that day, I would have to go through those flashcards again. So it's kind of like my own Unki. Something that I would know kind of, but not perfectly, I would put it somewhere in the middle of the deck. Is that kind of, hopefully that like makes sense, that I kind of devised my own Unki, and it was just on paper, and it wasn't like using the app or anything. But yeah. It's your information, it's your flashcards, it's more tailored to you. Uh, just something else that I do want to mention, um, there's this app um, called Cram Fighters. I used that for my last two months, so that created a schedule for me. And I want, I told it like what I wanted to get through, the pages that I wanted to get through and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit expensive on the expensive side, but I would suggest that if you're the kind of person who needs an everyday day-to-day -day schedule, I wasn't until the last two months. And even then, like I would just have it for organizing. but. I didn't really go through it that well. If that's something you need, I would suggest that. Oh, and just another word of advice, definitely buy the UWorld self-assessment exams. That's really helpful. And that predicted my score down to the exact score. I got a 254, I would say three weeks before, and then I reviewed those wrong answers, and I got a 254 on my exam, so. Doing the NBMEs can give you a little bit of a predictor. I would say NBME 18 was the best predictor. I got a 254 on that, but then the other NBMEs definitely under predicted my score big time and that kind of like got me all like worried but I wouldn't get too worried about those in terms of predicting your score just saying 18 was the most predictive of mine about four weeks out from my exam if you have any other specific questions that was just kind of a down and dirty um, of my technique it's kind of like the UFAP or just using UWorld and Pathoma um, I added Golion, I added Sketchy Micro totally suggest that uh, and I added some way to do my own flashcards Start early, don't use a crazy amount of resources unless you're one of those people who wants to. In that instance, go check out somebody else's study guide and uh, really good luck with everything.